Hi, it's Saskia and I'm back here with IELTS Daily. We are looking at a part two question today. It's Chris behind the camera and talking to Saskia. We're going to give her a difficult question to do. We've had a few difficult ones so far. And this one in uh, terms of difficulty, ah, I don't know. I would, I would find this one hard. In fact, I think all part two questions are hard. Do you agree, Saskia? They can be, they can be quite tricky. Yeah, speaking for up to two minutes is really tricky, especially if you don't know what to talk about. So if you are ready, the students are ready, let's begin. Great, Saskia, on the table in front of you, you've got a question. Let's turn it over and read it to the students. Describe a time when you needed to study hard for something. You should say what you studied for, why you were studying, why it was important to study hard, and explain what happened as a result. Ooh, what do you think, Saskia? Well, it's not, an, it's not the toughest question that we've done or that I've seen, but... We'll see how it goes. Good. You've got one minute starting now. In this question, you could be talking about something that you've studied hard for um, at school. It could be preparing for the IELTS test. It could be preparing for some professional development that you do at work. Lots and lots of different opportunities to talk about studying hard. And then talk about um, the implications of studying hard. How did it affect your life? What were the um, ramifications? Did you have to stay in and, and see your friends less? What were the results of your studying hard? Did you get good exam results? Um, you can talk tangentially. That means that you can talk off on a tangent, so you don't have to stick to this particular topic. And I think that would give you plenty of food for thought. Saskia has about 12 seconds remaining. We'll just give her those 12 seconds to concentrate. Great, thanks Saskia, that's your one minute, and you may begin. So, a time that I had to study hard would have been my last semester's university exams. So, I'm a politics major and I was just studying and doing my readings for a politics, politics essay that I had to write. And it wasn't the typical studying where I had to sit down and memorize from a book, but rather it was that I had to do so many readings that were between 30 and 50 pages each and that can be a daunting task. It was stressful and terrifying just for me to even look at the internet for any longer. I couldn't. But you know what? I realized that I had to do it because it was very important for my university grades that I couldn't, you know, I couldn't risk not doing well in this class and all my hard work paid off. But the thing is, to do that, it meant that I had to stay home. I didn't go out with my friends. I stayed back for the weekend. And while everyone else went out, I stayed home and I did my research. I studied really hard and I wrote a 2,500 word essay. And at the end of the day, I think I did quite well. I'm yet to get my results, but I have a feeling I did pretty decently well. The thing is, it's important to realize that when you're studying hard for something, you're thinking about how much it'll help you in the long run. And yes, my university grades are important to me right now, but it's also about me finding a good career path in the future where my university grades will be able to help me out in that field. Great, thank you, Saskia. Good answer and loads of, again, great language. How did you feel? How did you feel you did? Um, this wasn't too bad. This wasn't too bad. I think you had pretty good fluency. You didn't have to go back and talk about the same topics again, yes. did you? No, I no. don't think I did. Uh, so you talked about last semester's university exams mm -hmm. and it wasn't the something, but rather. That's good complexity of language. Great. Daunting. Tell us what daunting means. Daunting means terrifying just to even think about, something that might stress you out. Something that stresses you out, something that you are apprehensive about. Yes. Um, you said, but you know what? But you know what? What would that mean? Um, it's a rhetorical question, just like I said before, just keeping the person that you're speaking to engaged with what you're saying. And indeed. You, had say, you said, I had to stay home, I stayed back. These are different ways, synonymous ways, to talk about the same thing. 
to stay home or to stay back? Uh, you said in the long run. What's mm -hmm. that? What does that mean? It means not at present time, but in the future, something that will help me out. Good. So not in the short term, but yes. in the long term. Um, and you talked about how your grades are really important for you. I think you did phenomenally well again in this task. You covered all the points that you should have done. You sp kept continue speaking as much as you could. In the test, you don't need to cover all of those four questions, which is okay. what, why, why, and what happened. You don't need to cover all those. So for those people that don't know much about the test, it's not imperative that you cover all those questions. Try and use them as a guide. Um, it's a nine again for you, Saskia. Well done. Nice, nice work. Thank um, you. Thanks so much for joining us. Hopefully that was useful for the watchers. Take care and see you all soon.